Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to make this jailbreak update video for you guys discussing iOS 7.0.3, some of the most recent developments on the jailbreak scene, and also a possible 7.0.4 firmware release from Apple. And first, before we begin, I just wanted to preface by saying I was going to push this video out to you guys earlier, however, I wanted to wait until I got my screen protector on my iPad Air, which is sitting in front of me right here, so I do apologize if the screen looks somewhat distorted, I'm still waiting on the application solution underneath the protector to actually dry out there. All right, and with that out of the way, let's get into today's video. So as some of you may recall my most recent jailbreak update video, I alerted you guys that 7.0.3 had been confirmed safe to update to by MuscleNerd of the Evaders. And moving right along, once famed hacker MuscleNerd confirmed that the team could jailbreak 7.0.3 and that the firmware had virtually no impact on iOS 7 jailbreak development, it was reported that everything had started to fall into place for the dev team. Now some news sources took that bit of information to an unconfirmed extreme, suggesting that the Evaders will release a 7.0.3 jailbreak immediately following the release of Apple's new iPad models. And as you can tell by the fact that I obviously have an iPad Air sitting in front of me and that the device has been released, that didn't quite happen. So when discussing jailbreaking, always make sure that you guys are getting your facts from a confirmed source. And now what you'll hear me say probably throughout the rest of this video is that the primary piece remaining is time. Now you'll start to understand what I mean more when I discuss this second article. So recently, as I mentioned before, on November 1st, Apple finally released their long-awaited iPad Air, which is the company's fifth generation full-size tablet. Now, as a direct result of Apple's latest release, one more piece of the iOS 7.0.3 jailbreak development puzzle has fallen into place for the evaders. Now, there's only one more milestone standing in the way of the next jailbreak, the upcoming release of the iPad Mini 2. And this ties back into what I was talking about in the previous article, the fact that the key component now to jailbreak development is time. So previously, once MuscleNerd confirmed 7.0.3 hadn't impacted the team's progress in a negative sense, it was reported that the team had most of what they needed to complete the jailbreak. So the developers are currently creating the next untethered jailbreak 7.0.3 utility for all iOS 7 based devices, which is why they must wait until the new Retina iPad Mini 2 is released towards the end of this month, most likely November 22nd. Now in the meantime, the evaders have obtained iPad Air models with their all new 64-bit chips for testing purposes. Now, what the majority of new jailbreakers seem to miss is the fact that, like with their predecessors, the evaders work 99% of the time in secrecy and avoid publicizing most of their progress to prevent leaks, confusion regarding the release, etc. Moreover, all hackers on the jailbreak scene are working tirelessly for free to bring the public a jailbreak solution while maintaining full-time jobs. It's astonishing how quickly self-proclaimed jailbreakers turn against the four individuals who are responsible for development of countless utilities and who have an incredible track record. The evaders will deliver. They always have. It's a fact. So as a quick recap of this article and the previous one, remember that the evaders must get their hands on the iPad Mini 2 prior to even preparing the utility for a public release. Now moving on into the latest piece of news, famed hacker Planet Being of the Evaders shared his disdain regarding a fraudulent jailbreak evaders site that's infamous for distorting the truth and posting fake irrelevant articles to gain popularity. In his tweet, which I'm not going to go over for privacy reasons, the hacker conveyed his frustration with the fake site in question that shall remain nameless, pumping its readers full of erroneous hope. Now, as stated previously, as a general rule of thumb, don't believe anything you hear regarding jailbreaking unless it's from a verified and trustworthy source. And now moving on to the second piece of news. Also recently, a popular Apple news and rumors site by the name of Mac Rumors reported that the site has seen a surge in hits from internal Apple devices running iOS 7.0.4 in their web log. With the first signs of 7.0.4 having appeared on October 22nd, it's safe to assume that Apple is likely preparing the minor update for a public release. And although little is currently known about the upcoming 7.0.4 firmware, it will undoubtedly correct a number of issues that are still present in iOS 7. Now as far as the iOS 7 jailbreak is concerned, if Apple releases 7.0.4 or a newer update prior to the Evader's utility, which they almost certainly will, said firmware will be jailbreakable. So to quickly summarize, what we're really waiting on now is the second generation iPad mini to be released. Once it is, the evaders can more accurately assess the situation and make any necessary adjustments to their utility and prepare it for a public release.
release. And now that's it for this update video. I hope you guys liked it. Of course, don't forget about my giveaway. You can enter for your chance to win a brand new iPad Air. All you have to do is go to my unboxing video and simply follow the instructions there. I'll have an annotation to that on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. If not, you can find it simply by visiting my channel. And if you want a chance to possibly win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video, simply rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I post new jailbreak update videos or even jailbreak tutorial videos once future utilities are released, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.